What did you end up learning while bartending, I think, from the late Phil Hartman's sister? I was bartending one night and this woman comes in, she, were, she was looking at a map of LA and she said, I'm, I'm trying to find the groundlings on Melrose. And I said, what's the groundlings? And she said, it's this theater, it's where my brother, Phil Hartman, got a start. Um, he was performing there and somebody from SNL came and discovered him. And I said, oh my God, I need to go to the Groundlings. I watched them and they did sketch comedy and improv and I was so um, inspired and I just couldn't believe what I was watching and they were all so, so funny and so smart and so silly. And I knew I needed to be at that theater. Even to be part of the theater, you have to go through their school and then you have to audition and at every turn they could cut you and you don't make, most people don't make it. I wanted, I really wanted to start taking classes there, but I didn't have any money. But that's all I talked about. Anybody that would listen, the other wait staff, the, the you know, regulars. And for my birthday, they all chipped in and bought my first class at the Groundlings for me. And then my first teacher was Lisa Kudrow. What was she like? She was amazing. She's very smart. Very smart and very funny. I just remember watching her thinking, wow, she's so sure of herself. She knows she's silly, but that's what's so great about her. And that's what she's giving, you know? So I just, I don't know, I watched her and just studied her and was like, wow. And then she was on Friends. And you had Maya Rudolph, Will Forte, uh, Melissa McCarthy in the class. Do you have kind of best memories from well, that Will, period? Well, Will Forte, I mean, I have so many good memories. Yeah. It was, uh, those guys, I mean, my best friends are people that I met at the Groundlings. Um, you met Rachel. Rachel Harris, Groundlings. yeah. Yeah. Um, there were times when there was one sketch, there was a um, a girl named Amy von Freiman. And um, we, were doing a, we were doing this sketch in uh, the main show. <laughs> um, I broke and I could, and I could not get, get it together. And then she broke and, and she couldn't get it together. And then the audience is laughing, which actually will drive any of the directors of the Groundlings insane. Like they do really? not want you to break. And then this was like kept going until now the audience isn't even laughing anymore. It's like not funny watching these two idiots on stage just like can't get it together. And then they just black out the scene. <laughs> and then we never got to finish the scene because clearly we weren't gonna, right. it was not ever going to get back on track. And the next night we did the scene uh, and somebody came and backstage they said, oh my God, that scene was completely different tonight. We said, you know, because, that, because we were idiots last night, we could not get it together. And they said, oh, that's the only reason we came to the show tonight. We wanted to see the scene where you guys <laughs> just laughed the whole time. They said, no, that's not a thing. You said uh, you were aware enough to watch and learn while at the Groundlings. What, what do you think being there taught you? I feel like it taught me everything I need to know about life. Before the first time I was ever on the stage doing our first show, and even though it was just for friends and family, my the teacher at the time was Mindy Sterling, and she said, um, you guys are all good improvisers. If any of you forget any of your lines, don't worry about it. You know what to say. You'll help each other get back on track. And it was like, oh, I can breathe. And she was right, you know, and it would just took a, so much pressure off. And I think about that all the time when I'm speaking, um, you know, if you're giving a speech or you're presenting or whatever it is you're doing, it's like, it's helpful with everything, you know. But it was that realization in that moment that made all the difference to you in terms of how you handle those situations? Auditioning is really hard. Um, and you never know what you're walking into. You never know who you're meeting. You never know what the room is gonna look like. Um, so just watching the actors before me, watching them so closely and watching 
the shows every night was so, it was such a learning process for me because I would just watch and go, oh, his shoe came off during the sketch and they didn't freak out. They did this, that, oh, during an improv, you know, somebody from the audience, their phone went off and then that turned into a thing and, and watching what, what each person is really good at. And that's also part of the process at the Groundlings. People, you start to learn what they're good at and what makes them different. And that was a, a great gift from the Groundlings. What's the weird thing that happened in your life or the good thing or the bad thing? And how can you like make that part of who you are and in your voice?